What is going on, pals? It is Chaboy Reverts Me bringing you guys another LCPDFR video here today. This is day 32 on patrol, bringing you guys a uh, basically, I don't know. This is like an old car pack I still had on my computer, so I decided to throw it in and uh, see what we're doing. Actually, we're going to give this guy uh, glasses real quick. Uh, hold up. Uh, I, I think it's... Okay, those are some nice shades. What about... Alright. <laughs> we're gonna rock out two shades today. Yup, we're rocking out two shades. Just because we can. So, alright, we're rocking... <laughs> alright, dude, we're going two shades. Uh, alright. So we are... Oh, God, I forgot. I didn't fix my ELS. So I'm gonna have to be constantly just fixing it to do that. All right, well, all right, pals. So, yeah, I, I'm. I don't know if you guys can tell, but uh, I've started a sort of daily upload streak. So now I'm going to be recording every day, and what I record that day, you guys are going to get live. So you guys are going to get daily videos live, and they're going to be. I'm going to record them within the same day as uploading them, which is probably not a good idea. I might. See, if I, if I continue to do this for a while, I might have to start, like, pre-recording because I know how shit gets, to be honest. Some days I won't be able to record, and I know, like, this weekend coming up, I won't be able to record whatsoever. So, that's just because I go to my dad's for the weekend, you know, divorce parent life. But, that's that. So, alright, we're gonna do aggressive and careless driving. Alright, but yeah, so uh, I'm sorry, I haven't really done like decent commentaries in the last two videos, it's just been super hard trying to get everything back to normal and just everything, so I, I apologize for that, but basically I have a few topics I got written down, because as I told you, sometimes I like to uh, pre-write some uh, topics to talk about and uh, tell the story the best that it can be told. So I don't really think I have stories... Uh, today? I don't... Nope, I don't... So, basically, all we're going to be talking about is school. So, just a new school year in general. So, basically, over the summer, you're just like, Oh, dude, I fucking hate school. I don't want to go to school. Fucking school's not for me. It's school. Alright, he's fine on a uh, warrant, so we're just going to give him a warning. Because he's a dick about it. Well, he wasn't a dick about it. He just sat there and pulled over right away. But basically, oh, I'm too cool for school. I don't like this shit. It's fucking boring. I don't like it. Okay, that was a pretty good impression of someone that doesn't like school. So, you don't like school. And you, you're kind of forced to go. Look at this guy overtaking me. Kind of forced to go. Because it's the law. Holy shit, the water textures are absolutely garbage. But you're kind of forced to. So we do. We do anyway. And just because one person's having a bum life, their reaction on something... We're going to go to this. Their reaction and how they take something can ruin your whole day just in general. So, like, say someone, I don't know, got socked by their fucking mom or something like they just got straight up knocked out by their mom this morning and then they come to school and uh, now they're mad at just life in general so they decide hey i'm just gonna make your day shit just because my day shit which is really unfair if you think about it so uh that's why it's just i don't think that uh school is all in the sorts of fair it's not cool when someone else decides to be a little uh, scrub about stuff. Sorry if I'm screaming. I, I the sirens and shit. I just turned down my volume. But it's just they. Oh no, they escaped. All right. Well, whatever. They basically are just. Hey, if my day's bad, then your day's bad. That's how they are. So that's that can that can happen. I don't know why. I fucking said, dude. I swear to God, it's this bridge, man. It's this bridge. I don't know if you saw the last LCPDFR video, but I did the same thing in this exact spot 
Oh my god. But, yeah, that could happen. Just so, just, yeah, it, it happens, and it's not cool. So, stuff like that can easily, like, ruin your day just because somebody else's day is not cool. Plus, uh, no, what I hate is how 90% of the people that, like, are just, like, fucking... Is this... What is up with this red light? No, Alright, this person went through it, so did I, but I'm still gonna pull them over because I'm a cop and I can do what I want. So, 90% of the people that actually, like, have bad days all the time, like, are just straight up just dicks. Like, a lot of the times when people are just mean in general, like, I hate when people are mean. Like, that, I don't think that's how you make friends at all. Like, if you meet me in real life, I am a generally just, like, chill, normal person. I ha I don't think the lat- actually, that's a lie. I do get mad sometimes, but it's just, like, over the stupidest things like Call of Duty. So, like, when it comes down to stuff like that, I mean, yeah, sure, I'll get mad, but, like, you know? I, I, I like to say I'm generally chill, but people that are, like, uh, oh, you dick. People that are just mad all the time and mean all the time, it's just, I don't, there's, like, why? It's just, I don't think that's how you make friends. I don't think people, I don't like to be around people that are just, like, mean all the time. So why do you, they just be mean? Like, what? Like, chicks these days. I hate how a lot of the times it's, a, like, a chick trying to be hard as shit. I, I just hate that shit. And, and honestly, she's, she's just a little bitch about everything. Like, the littlest fucking things. Like, oh my god, she'll make fun of you, but yet she probably has a looser pussy than my fucking training wheels on my first bike. So it's just like, seriously, how, who the hell is the, the mean person and who's the fucking person in the wrong? You never know, and why am I stuck on a curb? Alright, can I get over the curb? Can I get over? Can I get over? Please let me over, I see him, I see him. Okay. I see him! Okay, we're going. We're going, pals. Where's the, where's the car? Oh, I see it. Alright, so it's just like, yeah. I, I don't know what to say about people like that. Like, there's just, why are they so mean? And then they always wonder, like, ah, oh, I'm single. Why am I single? And it's because of fucking just how you are. You, the most likely, it's just how you are. Since you're you, you just naturally are just like that. So they're just... I wouldn't want to be with somebody that's just, ah, uh, all the fucking time. Like, can you not? Please. I just hate when people that, uh, like, females, female-wise, I just hate how some people just hate people just because they dated a certain person. Like, what is that shit? Okay, so, back on to the whole making friends and new shit topic shit. Yeah, it's just, why be mean to people? And why just be like a hard ass if it doesn't really get you anywhere? But I, I've never seen a scenario where being hard doesn't get you knocked out. Like, <laughs> I, every person that's always just like, oh yeah, I'm in a gang, thug life, 420 blaze it, I'm in phase, uh, uh, what? Okay, no, not, they're not in phase because they're obviously not gamers because they're too good for that shit, right? So, yeah, they're just, ah. Uh. So, yeah, it's just 90% of people that act hard, act tough, they, they get knocked out by some guy that also has been knocked out before from being hard and tough. So, basically, it's just a revolving circle around all the people that try to act thug life. So, I mean, yeah, that's life. Sorry, I said it, but the only reason people are getting mad is because it's true. So, that's that. So, yeah, but well, basically, back on the topic of school just starting and stuff. I think school for me right now, I, I kind of hate my classes, but everybody, I, I like to think that everybody hates their classes right when they start out. And the only reason I hate certain classes is because there are so many people in my classes that one I don't fully know and they just try to be big I don't understand it like oh I'm gonna act tough for no reason like dude you are 
trying to act hard at nine o'clock in the morning. What what are you doing? Like why are you trying to act? Oh, I'm thug life at nine uh, nine o six. Like what are you doing? Like it's in the morning. It's way too early just for you to be mad at for, at no one for no reason. Like oh my god. I mean I, okay. I'm gonna hop into the shoe topic for a section a second because every a lot of these dickhead people that always are like thug life like shoes it's a stereo it's a stereotype sorry for my pal named Joe who's probably gonna be like yo what the fuck but like there's a lot of people that like buy shoes that are like a fucking ex a shit ton of money like three hundred dollars for just a fucking pair of shoes and then they wear them to school like an idiot like they know it's like oh it's like gym day that day they wear it to fucking school they don't have a backup pair of shoes in their goddamn book bag so oh god someone he someone steps on your shoe in basketball oh now you're mad for no fucking reason like don't be an idiot i mean you ha if you actually are a sneakerhead and you actually buy shoes like that you have more than one fucking pair. I know you have a pair of joggers or something that you can slap on for gym. Don't be a dick about it just because you're dumb and can't get your shit right. So, yeah. That's for the sneakerheads that like to be big and tough. I, I just don't understand some people. Alright. Alright, he's got him. I keep on mixing up the controls for uh, LCPDFR and LSPDFR. It's just they're the controls are similar, but they're like some of them are off. So it's just like, yeah. Like I miss the the holster mod that I have for uh, GTA 5. It's whatever though. I do have a new car pack type thing for GTA 5, which you will see tomorrow in a video. So. Yeah, hopefully if all goes well, you guys will see that. But yeah, I just hate people that just act hard to act hard. Like, they're not even, like, they have nothing to back it up. They're just some freaking dude that probably can't fight. I mean, I'm not a fighter at all. I, I try to avoid fights, like, in general because it's just no one wins in a fight. You both get hurt, someone gets a black eye, and someone's getting a call home saying, hey, your son was just in a fight. Uh, he's currently in room 209 in the local hospital. Uh, you can go pick him up, but uh, yeah, he did win the fight, but he is still in the hospital because he has a broken jaw because he got clocked. But he did keep on fighting after his jaw got clocked off. So, I mean, you should be proud, right? But nah. So basically, that's the thug life in a nutshell. So, yeah, that's that. So, like I told you guys way earlier, I ha I ha am in a small school. Like, super small. Like, the, the max amount of people in my school is like 170. Like, there are only 170 kids. So that means every teacher knows every student. Every, like, well, not every teacher, because there's some teachers that are like, just... Yeah, you know. But basically, every teacher knows every student, and every student knows each other. So, uh, when a new year comes, I'm just gonna... When a new year comes, there's, a. Uh, you just automatically, uh, what, what was I gonna say? You, there's just new... Okay, sorry, I was really focused for no reason. But uh, new people come, new faces you see. So, that being said, I have a lot of people- The only reason I brought up the whole thug life, hard people topic is because I have all these fucking kids that think the thug life is the, f the way to go. Like, what are you doing? Like, wh who makes your life decisions where you're just like, you know what? I want to act hard until I'm, what, 25 and I actually want to go somewhere? So, it's just like, why are you such a dick to everyone if just, I don't know. But, yeah, I have all these people that, uh, like to act hard in my school. It's just, it's not even, like, that many. It's, like, three people, but it's just, oh, my God. It's just the same fucking people. It, 
And they're probably gonna do it all year, so it's just like, fuck that. And I have one of them in my fucking... I think it's like in two of my glasses. I just hate it, because they try to make jokes, they try to be funny, and then everyone's just like, yeah, can you not be a fucking douchebag dickhead? Because... I don't know what school you came from, but that shit does, isn't really funny here because we've seen it all. Like, see, my school basically is everybody that has a problem or has had a problem. This is a stereotype for my school, just saying. But everybody that has a problem or has had a problem has gone to the school. So, that, that could be a mental issue. That could be anything. Like, for me, I just went there because it's a smaller school and they would, uh... It's just, I like smaller schools. It's just, life, in a nutshell, is better small. So... Yeah. I, I don't know what I was going to say there, but it's just... I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know, I'm sorry. So... Yeah. So, new school. Not new school, but, like, uh, new school year and shit back on that topic i mean i hate people that like teachers and shit that give out homework like it's the fourth day i just got a math worksheet i mean then again it was only like 10 problems and it was easy but like still the concept like usually at my school we didn't even get homework but now since like a whole bunch of teachers got fired and and laid off it's just a whole bunch of like new teachers are in here so uh yeah that cop barely got his fucking license Holy shit. Fucking bought that shit on Craigslist. Oh my god, dude. Why is there a cop in the backseat? Is there, like, actually... Oh god. Alright, we're gonna speed up, because this is a high-speed pursuit, pals. But, yeah, I just... I just hate people that act hard. But new school year, new... Ho all this homework and shit. It, it's insane. Oh my god. It's insane. So... Uh, I like to cheat a lot because it just makes life easier. It's not that I don't know anything. It's just it makes life easier. Like, cheating makes a lot of sense when it's something that you already know. Like, uh, that's basically the only time I do cheat. He's going to do no hands. Yep. Look at that. Fucking fantastic. This guy's a pro. But that being said, I, I like to just cheat on certain things. And why is his hat, like, through his forehead? I'll take him myself. Why not, right? I can just shove him in my back. The back of my car. Let me just check this guy's hat real quick. Look at him. Look at him. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Look at him. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm pulling him out. <laughs> He's sitting in the back seat. Look at him. All of their hats are like this. Look at this, dude. It's, like, straight through his forehead. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get in our cruiser and take this pal over back to the police station. To the police station we go. I don't want to go to the one that's right here because it's just like too. I don't know. So we're gonna go to the bigger one down the street. But yeah, so uh, that's that. Cheating is actually kind of easy when you get when you think about it. All the technology and shit nowadays. But, uh, I mean, I like to look around the room because a lot of teachers, they don't even realize that half of the answers are just chill. All right, fuck it. Half the answers are really just chilling there around their own classroom. Like, if there's a science teacher and you're doing, like, uh, what's it called? The periodic table? D th you better betcha that the periodic table is plastered somewhere on their wall. Like, that is their, like, fucking trophy. They have that shit in a picture frame. If not, they have that shit sticky-tacked rather than taped because they want to keep that shit years to come. So, oh, I fucking busted my shit. All right, but it's just, that is, I don't know, that's step one for cheating. Look around the room. Step two for cheating. I'm not encouraging you to cheat. I'm just saying I cheat because I'm cool because cheating makes you cool, all right? That's that's fact. Uh, reverts me, 2015, approximately September 9th, 8th, September 8th at 6.05 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Pennsylvania. Not going all the way down to cities because that's just dumb, right? Come on. Got to have some cybersecurity. So, yeah. So, 
So th that's probably the first step is to look around the room. Then the other step is if you're close to other people, I mean, don't rely on other people. But uh, what you could do is fucking put a sticky note on your shoe and write down like it. You know what? Generally, what's going to be on the test? Like they're gonna be like, oh yeah, we're gonna have a test on uh, photosynthesis, and we're gonna have that test uh, approximately on Friday. So then you come in on Friday with a goddamn shoe full of sticky notes on the bottom and uh, guess what just uh, you're gonna be sitting cross-legged and you're gonna have your shoe right there so that's one way you could get little cheated note note cheat cheat little shits but uh or you could have you know how uh, high school and other stuff is I don't know how uh I kind of forget if like if you're in like elementary school don't even worry about cheating your grades don't even count but I mean as long as you just like show that you tried i mean they're just like oh little timmy you tried congratulations next grade you go i remember one back in elementary school it was an option for your parents to hold you back like why in the hell would like if i got ever got held back because a parent said oh yeah i don't want him to go to the next grade i don't think he's ready like what the fuck are you insane all right there you go an extra extra year of just fucking school that's like torture because he's going to remember that that shit in like ninth grade he's going to be like oh dude i'd be in 10th grade with my pals but you know what nope i'm not want to know why got fucking held back with by my parents in like kindergarten so crazy stuff like that i hopped off the cheating topic i'm sorry but someone that takes the test before you in a different period you goddamn cunt jesus shit all right so someone takes the test before you and make sure it's a math whiz because you know you got to always make sure you're friends with smart people just period that's just a life lesson because you're always going to succeed if you're friends with smart people it's all about who you know in this life it's all about contacts get them contacts up all right don't even be like get your money up because getting your money up is only step number one getting your contacts up is what you really got to focus on and i've learned that through this little thing called YouTube, I've realized that. So just get your contacts up. If you have someone that is, uh, I don't know, good in math, good at something, and then you go ahead and you need to take a test, and they already took the test, good fucking do. Now you have the answers to that test because you have a good pal, right? And that's just... I know some people are just like, dude, do you actually like stoop down that low to cheat and shit? Well, I mean, yes and no, because if you actually, it's just, it saves you the mental, like, ability. It saves your brain a lot of stress and pain just to sit there and strain over all this shit that you can't maintain. I know I just fucking spit bars all right but it basically it's just it's a lot better if you take that stress off because maybe cheating on a math test is going to make your day a smidge better than someone else is day who didn't cheat on that math test i don't know just basically just have a good life all right guys have a good life all right we're gonna roll up to this with our little indicator shits on i'm not encouraging you guys to cheat even though that is exactly what i'm doing but uh i wouldn't really call you a cheater because uh that's not what we're doing we're just making life easier cheaters don't win in life whoever told you that kind of lied because cheating at at like little things isn't like bad at all so just saying I mean, as long as you're not cheating on, like, something like taking steroids for, like, baseball. I mean, I, I could care less. Why is my pistol still in my dude's hand? All right. But as long as you're not taking steroids for baseball, I mean, it shouldn't matter what you're cheating at. Just just chill out and just don't be, don't cheat at something like, I don't know, like CSGO tournament. Don't cheat on a CSGO tournament. All right. So, yeah, try to not, I don't know. You know, <laughs> only cheat when like the uh, the risk is low. All right, 
Because if you cheat on a test, what's the worst he's going to do? Oh, you're cheating on a test, dude. All right. Uh, I don't know what you actually learned or what you didn't, so guess what? You're just going to... Yeah, some people give half credit, some people give zeros. So, uh... Yeah, that's that's that. So, uh, this is going probably going to be the end of the video. I know I kind of just was, like, fucking reminiscing the whole goddamn video about people that act thug life. But, hey, that's just me. I mean, if you want to act like a thug and just be an idiot, you go for it. But, uh... I don't know, basically... The rule in high school and school in general is get as many pals as you possibly can and try to be that chill, mellow guy because that's how you get friends. Even the fucking thugs want to be your pal when you're just chilling there, not even getting mad at a thing that people say. Because getting mad at something, like, get, showing that you're mad over something that someone says as a joke kind of shows a, a sense of weakness that you just... It's just they can now use that against you. Like, oh, he gets mad at this, so I can now torment the shit out of him until he he and his unstable brain passes on. So, yeah. So that's basically it for this video. I, don't, I just, we're done. All right, I'm done talking about topics. I'm going to go right for, uh, I don't know, all these ideas for the next episode and get what I'm talking about. If you guys want to put in the description, not the description, what am I, an idiot? All right, if you guys want to go ahead and go down in the comment section below and put stuff that you want me to talk about and cover, uh, it could be anything. I am a very experienced person when it comes to life. Not really. I'm only 16, turning 17 in February. So technically, I'm 16 and, and, and 8 ninths. So that's what I'm saying. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, rate, subscribe. And if you have anything to improve my series, anything at all, go ahead and put it down in the comment section below. And yeah, as always, it is Chia Boy Revert to me. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cue the outro. I'm